so I'm gonna start off with my brows first, like I always do. And I'm using the Elf Cream Eyeliner. And it is in the shade Coffee, you guys. I use this all the time. And if I do ever change up anything on my brow routine, I will definitely update you guys with a updated brow tutorial. And I'm using this BH Cosmetic 107 Angled Brush that came in a whole brush set. Now you guys, I'm going to go ahead and clean my brows up with the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer. And this is in the shade Tan Sand. Also cleaning them up with this BH Cosmetic Flat. I think this is an eyeshadow brush. But I use it to clean my brows up. I use it as a concealer brush. <laughs> and I think it's a 102 brush that also came in the whole set. Um, I'm just leave the link down for you guys if any of you are interested. I'm going to go ahead and take my Sigma P89 brush. Um, I love this brush so much, y'all, to uh, clean up concealer around your brows. Like, it's the perfect size. It blends everything out so nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my face first before I do my eyes this time. So, And this is the Pond's Face Moisturizer. Duh. I'm going to forever be using this moisturizer. Like, it's so good and it's so cheap. <laughs> okay, so next I'm just going to apply my foundation. Someone said um, in the comments, why don't you ever prime? <laughs> I used primers before. Um, I used the NYX primer. I used two different NYX primers before and I don't know, I just didn't see a huge difference in my makeup. The foundation that I'm using is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal Plus Perfect in the shade 09 Tan. But yeah, you guys, if you have a primer or just any makeup product that you guys want me to try out just to get my opinion on it, please let me know down in the comments. Okay, you guys, so I would usually use a beauty blender to blend all this out, but today I'm using this new Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki brush. Oh my goodness, y'all, this brush is so amazing. I haven't used a brush to blend out my foundation in so long. You guys see, like, you don't have no streaks, no nothing. It's very dense, and I feel like that's why it's blending it out very very well and it still gives you like that flawless finish obsessed So for concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the NYX HD Concealer. Um, I used the NYX one just to highlight under my eyes a little bit more. And the Tarte Concealer is in the shade Tan Sand and the NYX Concealer is in the shade Beige. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all out with a damp beauty blender. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cream contour as well just because I feel like cream contouring. The Wet n Wild Makeup Contour Stick, yeah, the Contour Stick. And um, it's in the shade Where's Walnut. And it looks like this. Please excuse the way it looks. I caught my daughter playing with it. So, <laughs> yeah, and I picked this up from Target. You can find it at any drugstore. And I really like this product, you guys. It's so, so creamy. It blends out really, really good. <laughs> Ok, 
okay my nose the way I applied that doesn't look good so we just gonna ignore that trust me I'm gonna blend it out so yeah so the brush I'm gonna be using to blend all this out is this small elf brush right here that I got from Target y'all I seriously live in Target Target and Marshalls <laughs> really really like this brush it's really really soft and I think it was about six dollars I think it was like six bucks and I really think it's a great brush to blend out cream contours look at that already done like I love this shade of the cream contour stick Okay, so to blend out my nose contour, I'm going to be using this Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. I've been using this brush for a very long time, you guys. I used to use it to blend out underneath my eyes, my under eye concealer. And I also sometimes use it if I want a more defined contour. really think this is a great brush to use. a little bit more from the contour stick because I want my nose to look snatched. Never never I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with my airspin powder and I also mixed in some Benai banana powder in this. and set my foundation with this um, L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade W7 and this is a large VH cosmetic face powder brush so I'm basically just going to set um, the areas I didn't set with the airspin powder up my skin and I'm going to be using this wet n wild pressed face powder and it's in the shade dark cafe and I'm going to be using this BH cosmetic brush I have a lot of BH cosmetic brushes um, this one was in a set as well it was on their website and I just bought it because it's really cute it's gold and pink and I really like it. it's really cute Blush. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution the matte blush and this one is in the shade nude my Real Techniques blush brush I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray and I love this setting spray you guys oh my gosh it gives such a dewy finish I will be using actually in a makeup palette and this is the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to be using the shade Rosé which is this one right here. That is it for skin. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for you all so I can go ahead and start on my eyes. And yeah. So to start off on my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and prime them using the NYX HD Concealer in Beige. I'm going to blend it all over my eyes with my P89 brush from Sigma. Excuse my little friend here, okay? 
like a little bit of the airspun powder to set that concealer you guys i will be using the morphe 35 t palette and i'm just going to use this shade right here the first shade I'm going to just use this as my transition color now i'm going to go ahead and take this reddish brown shade right here and I'm just going to apply this in my crease. I don't want to add too much in my crease because I'm going for a soft cut crease look. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease with the Elf HD Lifting Concealer which looks like this. y'all whatever was on my forehead that was um some gel okay so for lid color i don't know if i want to do a shimmery color or a matte color but i think i'm going to do a matte you guys i'm just going to do a matte beige color and the one i'm going to use is the beige shade right here in the Lorac pro 2 palette and i'm just going to apply this all over my lid Okay, I zoomed out just a little bit. This eyeshadow is more like a satin finish. It's not a matte. So I'm going to go ahead and do a wing. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Which looks like this. And I have to bring the mirror like really, really close or else I wouldn't be able to do this. So right now you guys, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara really quick. And this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. And these are the Let's Get Mink lashes in the style Seductive. So to finish off my eyes, I'm gonna be taking the same shade that I use as my transition color and I'm gonna run that on the lower lash line of my eyes. I really don't want a lot going on underneath my eyes. I just want it to look very soft. So for lips, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and align my lips with a brown lip liner. I always use a brown lip liner. So the first lipstick I'm going to apply is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in a Rebel Rose. So this is a little bit too pink for my liking. I'm going to go ahead and add the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Milkshake. And I'm just going to dab that in the center for like an ombre effect. Okay. 
okay so this is the finished look you guys I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial right here and if you did make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye